welcome back to episode four of I'm a Celeb, get me out of here behind the scenes. Whew. So as we all saw previously, Babatunde bought home the bacon. He bought home the bacon with four stars. Nine mm. stars. Yeah, yeah, nine stars. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we start off on the wrong foot already. <laughs> Woo! You feeling all right? Yeah, I got okay. a <laughs> What are you like? But um, yeah, in episode four, what happened was now... We have two new contestants in contestants. the jungle. Yes. Yes, I call them contestants because they're coming in. Contestants. <laughs> <laughs> and they're not just any contestants. They are drum roll. <laughs> <laughs> they are Matt Hancock and Sean. Something something. I think but he's a comedian. comedian. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, this gave me the jingle jangles. When I was watching, I was like is it for real what's going on here so basically now what's going on is that is that matt and sean have now come into the jungle but it's not with the other team members it's just them two and a mole yes. i will let little mommy explain the mole the mole when the mole's nose um um lightens right. up hold here. on hold on wait 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 wait, wait. hold on before we eat before we even get into that, yeah, <laughs> when Sean met Matt, <laughs> man was laughing. Man was like, oh my God, is an MP? What the hell? Why? It's a politician. What's going on? He couldn't control himself. He was in, in hysterics. He was busting up. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what's the joke? Like, what's going on? So, yes, so then they got together, had a little chit chat, re te te, re te te. Now, they now realise that they are not alone. They have a mole living with them in the camp. A mole in the hole. <laughs> a mole in the hole. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Explain what the mole is there for. The mole is there. So when the mole beeps the um the light on the nose, it means for them to go into the mole in the hole and watch the um computer screen. The computer screen then gives them instructions to follow for them to go back into the jungle and to fulfil their um task. But what they didn't know is that they're gonna be on a secret mission. Yes. Yes, a secret mission. Mm, mm, mm. And the first secret mission for them to do was to take someone's hat and to take someone's um, clothing yeah the clothing and bring it back to the mole in the hole and then when they done that now it was like okay they've got like a jam top no, they've got a bakery top my That's favorite it. i hate them <laughs> and a nice cup of tea yeah but keeping in mind that the other camp members are unaware of this secret mission so they don't know that they've been getting like treats treats and all that so I'm just like, hmm, interesting. But when their camp members met Matt and Sean, everybody was like, why are you here? Like, you're a politician. Matt, why are you here? And Matt was just like, well, basically, I want people to see me for who I am, which I think is correct because, like, he must be thinking, oh, my God, people must think I'm boring and strict and don't have a life. So I hear what he's saying, but then you got people like... Come on, 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 him to like sit down and get comfortable yeah. and she was like oh so how many stars was there to um as to get and then he said oh there was 11 stars but we only got was six it six, stars, six seven it was six stars because matt got um four and sean got two yeah you know then charlene went up on the perch that thing what you call the perch little quiet area mm -hmm. to speak to matt you know, and as soon as she came down, bloody blood, whatever she said up there, you know, I mean, you've got to watch it to see it. As soon as Charlene came down now, um, George said, oh, what was that all about? I'm thinking that's got nothing to do with you, like, Think of the A and B conversation and not escalate to A, B, C and D. Because if he wanted to know what it was about, he could have followed behind him like a tail. Exactly. Mm. But anyways, now going back to the task which 
Sean and Matt had to do to get the six stars was, oh my God, it was so nasty. What I mean, it was nasty. It was them going down like a hole. And, and down that hole, there was like rats, there was like spiders, gunk, and all that nastiness, yeah. Coming down on them, all of that. And they had to collect the stars. But, oh, go on, little mummy. The journey was horrendous because, of course, Matt was leading and Sean was his tail behind him. <laughs> And um, it was like Matt was directing Sean from behind where to go or what to touch, which was quite hilarious. Keeping in mind, down that <laughs> down that hole down. is very, very dark. It's pitch black down there. Dark, so lucky that he wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> don't say it, don't say it. <laughs> but yeah, it was really dark down there. But I, but I have to say that they've done really good, considering that... It was so dark down there, they couldn't see anything. It was totally pitch black. Cause I wouldn't do it. Would you do it? No, I wouldn't do it. No, I wouldn't do it. Cause I, I would want to know what exactly is down there. Cause I don't want to be like touching, touching around and, and I'm touching snakes and rats and, then and things are falling on top of you and yuck. No, but they're done really well. So I was like, okay, you know what? I'll give them a round of applause. So yeah. So then I went back to camp and the food came down. I don't know what the food was. Me, me either. <laughs> but I know that it had a tail on it because Owen was yamming it. <laughs> Baba Tunde was like, man, like, man, stop like, it. like, stop it. Like, what's there to eat off the till? Like, mm. there's nothing there. It was just gross. Yeah. And, and then, and sorry. Go on, go on. Yeah. George didn't eat anything, even though that Scarlett asked him before she was doing the food, because um, she knows what it's like already. But then he didn't want nothing, you know. And also, he's thinking about leaving the camp, which we've got to wait and see. Which I think is very dumb. I think it's just attention seeking. Because like no one's not giving him the attention. attention. So he's thinking, oh, well, I want to go now. And by me saying this, then people sort of be like, oh, no, stay, stay. And but all like, like me, I would just say go because you're not serving no purpose in there anyway. Because all I'm waiting for is that day when George gets a challenge. I want to see if he's going to chicken out or if he's going to do the task. Mm, oh, he's going to get there and speak to Matt. I mean, and speak to Matt, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and speak to Anton Deck and just chicken out there and then. Mm. Because he's up for anything, he says. But, you know, I think he's just saying that for the sake of it. I want him to get a nasty ass uh, challenge to do. Because... I wish he, sorry to cut you, I wish he got Matt Hancock's challenge. Because that one is tedious and it's reptiles and everything else that goes with it. Mm -hmm. Just to see how he would have got on with it. Mm -hmm. Do you think he would have got on all right? I do I think so. But I don't know. Mm, the, the proof's in the pudding. Mm -hmm. And what else happened? Um, Gosh. Oh. oh, they went back to the Donny. You know, to show <laughs> Matt where he'll be doing his, um, his business. Mm. Um, trying to think. Oh, guys. The bit what I felt so funny, it was when Matt and Sean first met together and they'd done their first little task. And when they came back now, they're all dirty, right? Then Sean was watching Matt take a little wash down. And I was like... And then he caught up on himself and thinking, why am I watching Matt having a wash, you know? Let's, let's walk off and do something else. And then Dick was like, so what, Sean's watching Matt? And we're watching Sean watch Matt. And then and you we are watching, watching him. Him watching him watching, <laughs> him watching Matt. Like, what? <laughs> it was hilarious. I was like, oh my God. But... The moles are back in power tonight. Yeah. It, it feels like they're back in parliament. Like when they're sitting down like oh, oh, Matt in the When Matt was sitting in the mole hole and he's chopping his ten and he's sipping his tea, thinking, Lady Shay, <laughs> look at Arm Hancock. He's in Parliament. I wonder who he's gonna stand up against. <laughs> <Guess over. laughs> Bobbing up and down. But he's so relaxed. You find yeah, that? He's, he's so relaxed. chilled. He's so chilled, it's unbelievable. But, you know, I can't wait for episode four to come tonight. I can't wait for episode five to come tonight. Oh, this yes. Is four. Oh, yes. Correction, yes. correction. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yes, guys, I hope you're enjoying all these little behind the scenes of us, you know, talking Ten about years. in the jungle. People what's in the jungle. jungle. Because I'm enjoying it. And I'm, I am really enjoying this. And yeah, yeah, like it's what? something to watch. Oh, I'm yeah. telling you. 
It's like, extra TV. Mm. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's very nice to see how everyone's getting along. But what I didn't really like, but it's to be expected, that people are bad mouthing Matt, saying, oh, that um, how he shouldn't be here, he should be in Parliament doing his job and red to And I'm thinking, okay, but everyone's got a life. So I don't really understand. And then Boy George was like, oh that when it was COVID I couldn't see my mum and my mum was really sick and red hair ten. I'm thinking okay but you can't put all the blame on one person because it was multiple people who was dealing with that COVID situation yeah definitely definitely so I just say, I just good, say good on him at the end of the day because everybody's got a right to be in there you know it doesn't matter of their history or their past or whatever good on you round of applause you yeah, know, he's taken this. Um, he's taken. He's not the first person in Parliament to go in there, so good for him. You yeah, know, because I don't understand why it's such an issue. Like, if he wants to do it, he will do it. And what's the problem? Like, we have journalists, we have um, all singers in the jungle. We have. In the, he's a comedian. I've never heard of him before until yeah, really in the jungle. So I don't really understand why uh, Boy George is coming for Matt. Like. It is what it is. But anyways, guys, stay tuned to see what we're going to have to say about episode five. And mm, yeah. yeah. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this small little video, don't forget to like, share, Subs comment, subscribe, and tell a friend to tell a friend Friends. that your girl, your Shay, and your mummy is back in the building. And we're coming with what? Bangers! <laughs> <laughs> right, guys, we out. Peace.